Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rike. Really happy to have you back with me on the skincare journey. And today's topic is one that certainly is um, very and dear to my heart because it's probably my number one skin concern if I had to pick one and that is redness and inflammation of the skin. So I wanted to introduce you to a couple of products that I found really, really helpful when my skin tends to have freakouts or struggles with allergies, pollen and dust being the main ones for me, which cause a lot of redness and a lot of flushing of the skin. So I hope this will be helpful for those of you that suffer from the same thing. So the first product is a serum and it's from The Ordinary, a brand that doesn't always impress me, but this serum really did impress me. It's a newer launch and I have done a full review video about it. And it's The Ordinary's Alloy 2% plus NAG or NAC 2% solution. So uh, this serum, a little bit controversial. I think not every influencer has rated this uh, positively, but I really don't have anything negative to say about it. Now this contains NAG, which I always have to write down what the full name is. It's N-acetylglucosamine. It is actually meant predominantly for hyperpigmentation. So it's supposed to inhibit melanin or rather the I think an enzyme that then produces melanin. It was something like that. I explained it all in my video review of the product. <laughs> and I have to say for hyperpigmentation, I haven't seen super amazing results. It does have an overall brightening effect, but I just don't think it's super impressive when it comes to uh, getting rid of, I have especially here, I have quite annoying like, hyperpigmentation marks. So for that, it's it's average. However, I still really enjoy and love this because it works so well to combat my redness issues. Apart from one other serum that I'm gonna introduce you to next, this is probably the most effective product that I've used to have an instantaneous effect on my redness. When I use this in the morning, and for me, it works in the morning, it is slightly exfoliating, but I don't find it very aggressively so, so I can easily actually use it in the morning. It just instantly soothes my skin and I can really see the difference. When it's super, super red, it kind of, again, it never goes fully away, but it just kind of neutralizes the worst of it. And for that alone, I really just love it. So NAG or NAC is an anti-inflammatory and it is actually used for redness. I believe you can use it for rosacea. I think I might have to double check and write something down here because I'm always scared with skin diseases such as rosacea. I don't want to give you wrong information, but I believe you can use it. And it really does just noticeably work for that. It is also a really pleasant texture. You can just use it as a hydrating serum in your serum step. As I said, even though it is sort of sold as mildly exfoliating, I don't know if it really has a strong exfoliating effect. I can't say that my skin ever seems uh, more sensitive or anything like that, but you can start slowly and see how you do with it. I find it a very hydrating serum. And I especially just love how it has an instant redness calming and soothing effect. Really highly recommend it. I don't know why so, people, so many people are negative about this. I think it's great. So before the ordinary serum, the NAC serum existed, this second product recommendation for or against redness used to be my number one. Now it's kind of neck and neck with The Ordinary, but I still absolutely love this. It's also a little bit more affordable than The Ordinary one, uh, but it is also, I think, maybe more suitable for oilier skin types versus the neck one, which I think can also work for dry skin types. And I'm talking, of course, about the Geek & Gorgeous APET serum, which is this one. The Geek & Gorgeous serums all look the same, so they always come in these dropper bottles. 
Uh, I've done a whole product overview, review, video with Geek & Gorgeous products. I've tried every single one of them and I love them all. This is an all-time favorite uh, because, again, of the effect that it had on my redness. Very comparable to what the NAG serum does, which is just instantly take down the worst of the redness. It is in fact recommended to use APAD even if you have rosacea prone skin and it can help with the redness supposedly. Like I don't have rosacea so I can't promise anything but I have read on the Geek & Gorgeous website that they say you can use it if you do have rosacea so it's suitable for that. Um, it uses an ingredient that I also had to write down because I always forget the <laughs> the chemical name. So it is PAD or potassium azeloyl diglycinate. This is a water soluble azelaic acid derivative. So it's not actual azelaic acid, it's a derivative. Uh, the Geek & Gorgeous Serum uses 20% azeclair, which is not pure PAD, but it is a solution that uh, contains 6% of pure PAD. And 6% is an acceptable, workable percentage that does produce uh, positive effects for the skin. Um, basically, PAD works quite similar to niacinamide in that it is an anti-inflammatory. It also helps with pore care. So it's really good if you have enlarged pores, especially due to oiliness and it can help regulate excess sebum or oil, which is also why I would say this is better for oilier skin types than for dry skin. I have never used this every day. I kind of use it on and off when I need it for my redness. Um, but I think if you use it regularly, potentially it could be a tiny bit drying if you are on the drier side. So I would say, given that both the NAG serum and the APAD, they both really are comparable when it comes to toning down redness. They also are comparable when it comes to texture and hydration levels, sort of. I would say if you're dry skinned, I would uh, recommend the NAC serum, but if you are more on the oilier side, I would go for APAD. I think they're both fantastic. You can use both very easily as your hydration step. I would only use them once per day, not twice. Once per day is more than enough, and with both of them, because they're tiny, teeny bit exfoliating, it is a little bit much if you use them twice. But yeah, both of them, if you have redness, I would really highly recommend you try those. They have just made a huge difference, especially during the time when I have hay fever, when my skin is the worst when it comes to being just hyper inflamed basically. This next product is a toner and even though it might not be as dramatic when it comes to having an effect on redness of the skin, I still really want to highly recommend it because it is a very soothing anti-inflammatory and gentle formula overall and it's also a toner that I feel not that many people know about and that's a shame because it's awesome. And it's the Physiogel Red Soothing Sika Balance Toner, which is this one. Physiogel, a really popular, not that well known that it is popular in Korea brand. It originated in, I believe, the US or maybe Germany. Or it, I think it was first German and then American. But anyway, now it's actually a Korean uh, brand. It belongs to the LG, LG um, conglomerate and their products just constantly top bestseller lists. They win awards. They are especially great for sensitive skin because they're very sensitive skin friendly. They have very uh, minimalist formulas as does this toner which is fragrance free, alcohol free and it just has a very pleasant light texture. The reason why it's so great for redness is because it contains a really potent Sika complex. So Centella Asiatica, Metacasticide, Asiaticoside, all the, all the different various compounds, active po compounds of Centella Asiatica combined in a wonderfully soothing, highly anti-inflammatory uh, and certainly redness calming 
a complex that just works so so well for my skin to me this was really one of my favorite discoveries skincare discoveries of the year and it has made a major difference to my skin when it comes to redness um, another toner that works really well is the anua toner which contains heart leaf sika or centella and heart leaf and hotuinia cordata plus mugwort those are kind of the three best korean skincare ingredients plant extracts for redness to look out for um, sometimes I find that, especially with Sika products, some just kind of work better than others. And for me, this one has worked particularly well. I also find that the toner works better than the cream, which I've also tried from the line. For me, the toner does a much better job taking down redness and overall just soothing and refreshing the skin. It's also a little bit more affordable than the cream, so I would always recommend you to try the toner first versus the overhyped, for me, a little bit overhyped cream. The cream is great, I like it, but I just think the toner is overlooked when it comes to popular products from Korea. And um, I also really like that it is very light, it has a liquid low viscosity formula but it is chock full actually of hydrating ingredients um what was it again uh glycerin beta glucan squalane and even ceramides it's also hyaluronic acid free i believe again i might have to double check because i didn't write it down but i think so and um, it just does not feel sticky at all. It kind of sinks instantly into skin. I do find it a little bit better for redness than the Anua toner, but both work really well. And then the other toner that I can highly recommend for redness is the Numbers In toner, the green one, green full toner, I think it's called. Those are kind of the three that I find work best for calming down redness of the skin. And the next product recommendation for redness prone skin is a moisturizer or two moisturizers uh, from the same range that I have talked extensively about on this channel before as well. If I had to choose a moisturizer that is the most sort of legendary, occult-like in Korea, just an absolute hyperseller, uh, it would probably be this one and it's the Dr. G Clear Soothing, Red Blemish Clear Soothing Cream. And it's this one. And it has this beautiful gel texture. I'll show you a close up too. I probably have one left somewhere <laughs> from a previous video. And then there is a newer version of this out as well that I also have here. I haven't used it as much because in summer I prefer this one because it's a lighter one. The other one is meant more for drier skin types and it's the Red Blemish Clear Moisture Cream, which does also have a gel texture, but it's kind of more compact. And again, I'll probably show you another close up, but that's kind of what it looks like. Both are gorgeous textures. Dr. G, wonderful Korean brand. Especially the Clear Soothing Cream, the lighter version, is probably the most sold, most award-winning uh, moisturizer for acne-prone, blemish-prone, uh, also for um, male skin, for men. Um, Dr. G is very popular with Korean men. And it just is such a truly a cult product that I myself really have learned to love. At first I thought, mm, is it a little bit overhyped? Isn't it just a gel cream, a regular gel cream? But I have to say, as just as with the Physio Gel Sika Toner, the Sika Complex used in the Dr. G Red Blemish skincare line just is a little bit more potent and a little bit more... I find it a little bit higher quality. When I have a skin freak out, when my skin has been reactive, when it's just overly sensitized, I also 
went on a hike last week and even though I did use sunscreen, I think I just didn't reapply it often enough to be honest. And I was a little bit, it wasn't full on sun damage, but I could, I noticed that my skin was just overheated and not very happy with me. This is the moisturizer that I usually grasp, especially together with that Physiogel toner. That combination just instantly calms down my skin instantly soothes and instantly again just helps to take down the worst of the redness i find them just so gentle and so i would highly recommend either one of those creams this one again the more gel like is great for oily skin this one for dry skin or for combo skin combo skin can kind of use both depending on how deep of a moisturizing effect you want this one is just a little bit richer um I recommend them highly for anyone with very sensitive skin, with skin that is easily overheated. When it gets red, it's beautiful to just soothe everything. And especially the lighter gel version has almost a cooling effect a little bit. It's just wonderful if you have hypersensitive skin and want something light and refreshing that still is very moisturizing. The formula is very minimalist. It is fragrance free, it is alcohol free, and it really relies on the potency and strength of the Sika complex use. So again, as with the Physiogel, it's uh, Centella Asiatica, a metacasticide, asiaticoside, and all the other good parts of the centella plant. Just highly, highly recommend it. I can never sing these products praises enough. And Dr. G as a brand is just so underrated in the West for some reason. And the last product is actually not a skincare product. It's a makeup product, but it is also a product that probably works best for my redness, which again, just never goes away. So <laughs> the best way on most days to deal with it is to just cover it up. <laughs> um, I have had real problems finding a good color correcting concealer for my redness because most of the color correcting uh, concealers that I've tried they are, of course, using a color theory. So in order to cancel out redness, they are green. However, the green that they use is often a very light sort of mint green. And I find that type, that shade of green on my skin actually just kind of makes me look very ashen, especially if I use it all over, but also if I use it just on certain areas. One of the worst areas for me is this and then here around my eyes and then around my chin as well, I get very red. Um, it just makes me look kind of ashen and it often looks very artificial. It just does not look great. Even if I then put on foundation, it just does not give me a, the desired effect of just looking natural and kind of just looking neutral. I want to cancel out the redness, but I don't want to create an ashen sort of face. That's not much more flattering now, is it? When I saw this color correcting concealer, which it has been trending in Korea now for many, many months, I instantly thought, oh, wait a minute. Okay, oh, this could work. This could absolutely work because it's not mint green. It's almost kind of olive green. So it has a more muted and slightly darker type of green that it uses. And guess what? I was right, it works so much better for my skin. So this is the, the Sam P uh, Cover Perfection Concealer in the Color Correct Beige, I believe. And I don't know how well you can see that. I'll show you a close up maybe as well. Now, bear in mind, I have used this a lot, so it looks a little bit grubby <laughs> to the camera, but that's what it looks like. Oh, I think you can see, oh, excellent. And this is the green shade I was talking about, which is also the shade that I use the most in this. And it is, as you can see, not as sort of minty bright green. This has just really saved my skin when I have to especially do a video shoot during a high pollen, high dust sort of uh, moment when I tend to get these really bright red spots that not even foundation can fully cover. This has been so fantastic. 
I really cannot sing the praises of this high enough because it's finally gave me a, a way to cover this up without looking like a, a, a person with typhoid or something. <laughs> just, truly, the, um, the mint green concealers just did not work for my skin for some reason. And this just works perfectly. It, it heals really well to the skin too. It is very easy to blend it in and it looks super, super natural. Um, the other two shades, the beige, I have used for normal concealing and that works as well. The salmon colored one is meant for um, eye discoloration. I don't have that problem that much. I struggle more with uh, swelling and just signs of aging. <laughs> it's kind of all sagging a little bit. No concealer will help with that, unfortunately. But um, I have tried it around my eyes and it definitely helps cancel out any type of sort of looking like a bruise, sort of that purple-ish. Um, discoloration and the concealer as long as you're in the beige colored <laughs> category if your complexion is like mine i'm a, usually around a 21 to 22 in korean makeup this also works really well for concealing the red the green the redness canceling uh, one is definitely the star of this palette and it really just has this beautiful neutralizing effect on the redness it doesn't make it look white or ashen it just cancels it out so if you like me don't do well with the mint colored very bright color correcting concealers try this one it's also very affordable if you look for sales for this on olive young for instance then you will usually find it for around 13 dollars which is really not much it lasts forever i've used it so so much and it looks as if I've barely dented it. So this, I can understand why people are so crazy about it. Now I have the original version. What was it called again? Wait, let me just check. Cover something. Correct beige. They've brought out a lighter version of this, which is called Correct Up Beige. I've looked at that one. Mm, I would say only go for the cover up one if you are very, very light skinned. So if you're more in the porcelain, you can hardly find a shade that matches me, sort of uh, uh, brightness, um, then maybe go for that one. Otherwise, I would always suggest you go for this one, which works usually for shades 21 to 23. Uh, if you are darker than that, I think, the green should still work if you're sort of um, lighter brown skinned i think it should work as well probably the other two colors won't as well though but honestly it's worth it if you struggle with redness just for the green color alone it's perfection finally i found it and there we are the end of the video i have more recommendation for redness because it is just such a big concern for me that i kind of collect <laughs> redness combating anti-inflammatory products but i didn't want to make the video too long because then you complain again but if you need or want a part two let me know uh, in general i would say just look for the trio the korean plant ext extract trio centella asiatica hutuinia cordata and mugwort works really well as well. I have a couple of mugwort products that I also really like for redness. So again, let me know if you need more recommendations for redness. And I really do strongly love both the Ordinary NAG and the APAD from Geek and Gorgeous. For redness, I think those two are the most effective products that I know. And also give the Sam uh, concealer a try if you haven't found your perfect color corrector yet. I really love it. And with that, I am done for this week. I really hope this video was helpful for you. And if you struggle with redness, um, we have something in common. So um, I, I get it, it's a pain. I hope to see you again next week. If you haven't yet, it would be great if you could consider subscribing. It's so, so helpful for small creators uh, to just 
get that sort of support is the best you can do. Uh, otherwise, giving a video a thumbs up also helps it tremendously. And uh, leaving a comment is just always appreciated because I can, then I can chat with you in the comments. I will see you again next week for a new video. And until then, please take care.